Keep going, mate. Nice and smooth. I'm seven weeks into marathon training, have one half marathon under my belt, so I'm hoping that the fitness gains are beginning to kick in. Good morning and welcome to another parkrun video. We're back on another Birmingham parkrun. Today we're in Perry Hall and we're quite frosty this morning. We've just had a little run around on the route and there are a few icy patches, but apart from that, it's looking like a nice flat and fast course. And without wanting to sound like a broken record, I again want to try and get my first sub 21 of the year. I've not been under 21 minutes since just before Christmas. So that is the goal today, 6.45 per mile. So fingers crossed, I can manage to do that. Filming slightly different today. I'm gonna to give Rory the camera and he's gonna get the shots for me. He's hopefully gonna stay just behind me. The course is a little bit complicated because it is three loops, but each loop is slightly different because uh, there are two mini out and backs as well so hopefully fingers crossed we don't get lost. Perry Hall Park is a large green space with cricket pitches throughout and is a floodplain for the River Tame. The park was formerly the site of Perry Hall but was unfortunately demolished in 1927. The park has a small amount of free parking plus a toilet block that is open before the start. After listening to the run director's welcome, it was off to the start. Ah, not used to being on this side of the camera. Right. Okay, that. guys, thank you so much Good for your patience. Have a wonderful run and be careful. Look out for yourself. Three, two, one. Have a great one. Most of the park runs I've run this year have either been off-road or not particularly flat, so today's course looked like a real chance to hit this sub-21. I knew it would be a close call, but I'll let the video and Rory's commentary take us through. 6.44, bang on. Even though there were a few puddles to dodge and some small off-road sections, the grip was good, so no excuses to slow the pace. The only disadvantage was negotiating a few tight or dead turns. 6.42 average. Now I know if I'm working hard to be just on target from mile one, this is going to be a tough ask. Thank you. 6.45. Okay. Good. Settling. Luckily on the warm-up lap, I'd figured out the layout of the course. I had no one to follow at this point, but on lap two, it was out on the long out and back section. We were just one or two seconds off, but we'll claw that back at the end. I'm working hard to keep it exactly on pace. Back on target. Thank you, mate. It's round the first dead turn and all the way back to the main part of the route. Keep pushing. Thank you. Come on, keep going. 21. Keep going, mate. Nice and smooth. Our watches were very slightly out of sync, but either way, we were just off the pace we needed to be. Yeah, 6.48 average I've got. 6.50 mile two. I'm just going to gain a few seconds. We'll do it. Rory decided to move to the front to try and keep the exact pace. Thank you, mate. I was trying to stay, but it was a tough ask. Last bit. No, come on. Let's do it together. Don't care about times, I've got the effort in. Another workout in the bag. Just down there, around that bend, finish. What have you got? That's it. Put your rhythm back. Knew you there. Go, go in front of me. Go on, girl, push it. Thank you. Last bit, last stretch. Go on first, lady. Hold on. Thank you. Held that strong all the way. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done. Ten seconds. You worked hard then. Well done. 
quest for sub 21 <laughs> continues to run. So today wasn't the day. Lots of factors can alter the way we run and on this particular day I wasn't able to hit the paces I'd like to have run. But I was fine with that. First of all I need to thank this man here for first of all filming, giving me tons of encouragement but also missing out on having a decent run himself. But he says that's not a problem because no problem. he's kind to me like that. So yeah, really enjoyed Perry Hall Park Run. Nice chats with some runners at the end. Um, obviously I didn't get my sub 21. I think probably my biggest problem at the moment is watching too much YouTube on an evening, but not watching it empty handed, actually watching it with uh, probably too many crisps and biscuits. So yeah, I'm going to solve that problem by going home now and having a bacon sandwich, but hey. <laughs> You've got to live, haven't you? I don't care. Well, I do care. We'd all like those times that we want, but I'm not going to sacrifice my uh, Saturday treats and my Sunday and my Monday, Tuesday and all the other days of the week. But yeah, it'll come. It'll happen at some point. It just wasn't today. Stay tuned. I'm sure at some point it's going to happen. But thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on another attempt, wherever it may be, at a sub 21 minute park run. Catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. I know comparison can lead to disappointment, but looking at my 5k times within last year's plan, they were following a very similar pattern. If it continues on the same path, my next few park runs should start to improve. Also, I did feel bad for holding Rory back. He felt incredibly comfortable with the paces today. Our next effort will be this Saturday after recovery week on the plan. I think we'll both have a positive run. And my bacon sandwich was very, very tasty.